That's a lot of damage. Yeah, this is a game where I think Miracle's gonna have a better mid lane than some of the ones we saw earlier today where he got bullied a lot. Yep. Even with the Ogre there, he's got Drow Aura, he's got good supports to back him up. Ogre may have to spend more time bottom. Five melee! Clockwork, but! Clock is it? This is Escape. Yapsor or Kezu. So, yeah. DT is mostly a support. Are they going to do it? Kezu Clock. Yeah. Kezu Clock. Nicely and played by Bulba. This is the whole ranged versus melee thing yeah. <laughs> played out perfectly here by Liquid. That's why you run the uh, Rubik in the offlane as well. I... Good luck getting close enough to Blade Fury. They up. Uh, this is what Escape need to do. Just use the pull camps. Oof, that right click hurts. Oh, well, that hurts a lot. And that is, uh, oh, oh, yeah, first blood, yep, so gets it with the spear, it's still in the end. So, Very nicely done. They got baited, but there was really nice by escape, they used the tree line to get into melee range. Coming in to try and help deal with the Matuma man. And... Ticks off his clarity. Yep. Yeah, there we go. He still, he still, he still, he says yeah, boots he gets versus no boots. Movement speed, so. Oh, dude, he is actually punching so hard. He's got double damage, basically. That's enough to one more punch. Yeah. We're, oh, actually, yeah. hello, Kazu with the flare, taking the last hit. That's actually really nice to get that to the get that to the offliner. Just, just good EP play using the Astro while in bottom lane. Era will find a kill with the help of Oga. So, one of the things you got to do, you want it as much as you your mass melee lineup looks like it should have weak lane. If anything, these heroes are really strong in the lane stage because they're, they've got these uh, these low-level spells that make up for the fact they're melee by being very powerful. E.T. with his early uh, Astral plus Stomp, the Astral giving you the bonus movement speed, uh, Clockwork Cogs being really strong, and we're seeing Clockwork now go in looking for another kill. Yep, um, the Superman should not have an escape there. Nope. They do get the lift on Clockwork. Do they have any extra backup or is it just right-clicking all the way and do they have enough damage? Well, they do, I think they do. Behind. Yep, a lot more hit needed, and it's uh, the drone that gets the kill. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, getting the kills with the Ogre Jug duo as well as the Clocky T. Fortunately, it's kills exchanged. Two points in each skill. Oh, that's enough. How oh, desperate for that level six, and Timber will even draw the creeps to him as he goes to grab the rune, so. Looking like a very easy, fun lane for Miracle. Oh! But Duma man still doesn't have boots and uh, doesn't get the hue off. Well, does, but doesn't have a grave, so he is uh, gone for a Miracle says, I'll take that kill though, thank you very much. Worth it for Liquid ultimately. Mm -hmm. Support for offlane, uh, support is just a dazzle. Oh, Miracle. I got a feeling that this Timber saw. How long till he's beyond god like? Oh, uh, that's the thinking. question, right? <laughs> uh, it really feels like he's gonna go 10 0 this game. Oh, he, uh, he's definitely on the way to it. Yeah. He is. He's just out of control, and he is not even. You know, you look at the at the levels. He's like, oh, it's the same level as the Juggernaut. It's fine. You look at the net worth, and yeah, sure, he's a little bit ahead, but you know, he's just fine. But he is so good against the heroes that Escape has. Yeah. That was in the off lane too. That's like not the tower you expect to go down, but. Huh? Oh well. So yeah, it's miracle putting on a bit of a show there. Didn't quite get the ogre kill, but. I think he knew it would have been his own death if he went for it. Nice! Chain oh, stun. Oh, very nice indeed. He still has Dummy Slash. We'll go for it. Gets into control and gets a kill as well. Okay. At least Dez will get the right click afterwards. A little bit of extra gold from Atuma Man. He'll like that one. Gets hooked upon. Kazu gets the minus armor with the Shadow Weave coming from Atuma Man who just continues a right click and he knows the carry roll well and he'll try to do it from the Dazzle point of view <laughs> if he can. <laughs> He's, he's trying to get them. Right he's quickly. trying to get them. <laughs> One step at a time, guys. He's also got to buy wards. He's like, I got the draw or I can be a right clicker. That, that's a yeah. thing. I mean, uh, this is definitely a lot of damage coming out from him. Let's see, 100 and... Uh, uh, changing, I can't... Ah. I think Drow's being ganked the top lane. They changed because the Drow lost the uh, bonus That attribute. makes sense. I was curious about that. But he gets the grave, so Matuma Man actually rotated to help out. Matuma Man, very selfless, will die for his Drow Ranger. Drow Ranger ends up dead as well, but the double kill goes the way of mind control. Kuro walked back to the acid, could have lived. He really wanted to make sure they get the kill. He, trading his life for an elk is fine. Uh, it's more a question of whether he could have lived and they get the kill without him, but yeah. hey, he makes sure they get that kill. Kuro's just said, uh, eh, let's keep going, no big deal. No big deal whatsoever. And he's got Ice Armor too, so Roche isn't even doing much to him. He's got Weave and Ice Armor. Going great. Wearing off Escape soon. is just waiting for the right time. Oh, maybe this is the right time. 
Earth Splitter coming through. Hookshot up on Windranger as well. Well, Wind runs straight away, but nobody can actually attack. Kuroki is the one attacking, and he gets... Oh, he can't on the oh, flash. Oh, that is very painful. And then Rubik gets picked up on the sidelines, so Boba is dead on the side of Liquid, but that's not too bad. This Juggernaut bought back, teleported to the Tier 2. He wants to fight. He wants to help Koikspa. Koikspa, this is his first fight with the Radiance. Get the stun up. Also, Boba bought back and Windranger now as well. They'll come back in this power shot to show that mind control is in this looking for the right shackle as we see cinder and drop in miracle just in the front lines so trying to get those jump. skills up there's still no on these lives it could be a dieback for era he does oh. not oh he, he just Bit turned tough. around for it but couldn't get it off anymore and yaps are just on the run miracle is very fast though very speedy and he might Ooh, i was gonna say he might just be able to get the kill but i don't think he can you can teleport out in that duration so you're good so you can burst him and not need to dodge the stun, but for me, still time not farming. If anything, he would have got more farm overall if he wasn't at that fight just farming lanes, but he has to go to those fights if escape on a standard chance. The Radiance Armlet does make him fairly strong at fighting anyone that's not a Timber Sword. Oh, this is for Shackle. He finds it as well. They want to go for this ultimate double damage with up on Mind Control with the Focus Fire, and his ultimate just ended. This might be it for for quick but indeed killing spree down and he's out of the game for like 50 seconds yeah, rubik with the stolen out stun bulba getting some nice spells off in these fights it's level one even but now got the kills and i don't yeah. know i blame bulba for it and um, escape is starting to be more evasive of fights yeah they started out wanting to try and, and do something but then they realized well let's not do that they did the thing that you said they should they they should with the boy timber saw they have been they are trying to find the easy kills instead like this one on matumba man who is trying to stay alive but is just not able to do it. He just bought time though. Oh! The stun mid, mid Timber Chain. Cinderin is still dead though. Yeah, when you see this Timber Salt run like hell. Yep. But that was, I mean, that was all Cinderin's doing. Uh, sorry, all Matuma Man's doing. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't want to do that. Rather has the ultimate orb. 40 seconds until his dieback cooldown is there again though. Yep. And all the lanes are. Almost all the lanes are pushed out in favor of Team Liquid. We do have an Alchemist uh, oh. infestation on the top lane. Oh, oh he wants okay. to chase it. Uh, can you kill him actually? Chemical Rage on? Is there a stun? I think you can just keep the out, but... He can also, also can just run. That's another option. But Drowsy uh, found. Yeah, in the meantime, okay. they get the Draw Ranger. Timrasa blinks in as well. Wants to get Kezu. Does get him in return, but... That you get one kill, Timber shows up, and he punishes you. Every yeah. time Escape's getting a kill, Timber's rocking up to punish much as the kill score. You see the kill score, you see Alcott number one net worth, and you're thinking, oh, this game's not that one-sided. I mean, yeah, even the net worth different, nothing looks like it's that one-sided, but it's more, how will you ever stop Timbersaw from destroying you? Their only reason it's close is because they're avoiding fights and farming. Oh, the shackle. There's no way that he can get alive out of that one. He has buyback, but... Yeah, what are you gonna do against that? Eventually, Liquid will find pickoffs like that. Koich has played a great game. He hasn't been dying until like right now, and that's why this game is close because he's avoided all the ganks. But at some point, you have to fight, and no man of farm in my mind makes them ready to fight against the Timbersaw. Arcane Rune, Timbersaw, is wet dream. That is like the worst rune to see on a miracle Timbersaw if you're on the side of the escape. Oh yeah. Oh again. No, no, no TP on this time. <laughs> Just annoying. Take the tower a bit. Yeah, we got the Axe on the Wind Ranger so they can take the tower. Focus fire them down. He's looking rough. Alk is still dead, so they haven't got the acid spray to help with the defense. And anyone who comes here is just getting blinked on by Miracle. He'll blink in through some spells. Yappy. Yep, Yappy dead. Yep. Yappy very dead. That's ugly. Focus fire! And gets the rack. Who shot in? Ooh, Kazu, he wants to go for this one, but he gets Tidal Dump and stunned with the Centaur still there as well. I'm going to keep up too, so he's going to walk into the fight. Yeah, Era still has his Omni Slash, but wants to save it for the right moment and wants to save it so that he can actually kill someone. Perhaps he can use it on the Timbersaw, but Timbersaw's Shiva's Guard is there, so... It's tickled. Yeah. And he's got a very short respawn with 22 Bloodstone charges. Yeah. And he has very high reach, and he doesn't even... What am I talking about? They're not killing him once, anyways. No. They're actually not. That was one lane of racks down. In the meantime, maybe do something on the bottom lane. They're just gonna go back. They're just gonna go back. Why not? Even as good to travel. So there he is. Let's see. 
what they can do, and if escape has an answer because smoking around from the side, they oh! want to get the back lines. Close by a little bit. Uh, here comes the smoke surprise. from the north. Looks like they're into that. Oh, let's see, dazzles a lot. Nice shackle. That's a juggernaut. Focus fire instantly lifts as well. That's already timbers on dead. No buyback for era. Wind Ranger is gonna get hit by that Earth Splitter, but I'm not sure if that's gonna make a difference. Cinder and no stun TP out this time. And Miracle is beyond godlike with a double kill and now goes for Koifa. Yapsor and Koifa, the only two left alive for their team. Yeah, they turn that Radiant Stone out from this. Come on. Yep. It's kind of a bad synergy with the ET Stomp just because it wakes them up a bit. So it is a nice play to turn it off sometimes yeah. to stall, but they need the damage. They really do. Miracle is just. I think he's behind. He's any of the fountain miracle. That Timbersaw is zoning people back, and now he's come back and he's like, oh, okay, I'll kill the elf. Sure, why not? Stuck to uh, his own matter sound, easy. Trying to control them the, the, the right the, uh, angle in. There's a buyback on the Alchemist, but really. Unfortunately for Escape Gaming, this loss could mean the end of their Boston Major Dreams. As them losing this game will put them on five losses. And there's only some weird funky scenario where there are multiple teams with uh, four wins and five losses and when I say multiple I actually mean like four or five or something yeah, like that right. when there's a chance of a, of a tiebreaker and that is it's just yeah. very unlikely that that will happen and they are aware of that era not getting the kill there with the only slash mind control also still ah they right he doesn't die. he does die in the end they get a kill but they lose all their heroes uh, they have got the alchemist here who bought back and he's gonna die again with Cinder and last one, al one alive. GG will play this cold and that's it. That's it. Escape How gaming. Yeah, liquid looking good. How many teams have five wins now? Because I feel like um, Secret has five wins. Secret of five. At Finn have five. Liquid have liquid five. Liquid now. That's their fit. And the VP, VP of five, then you're out if you have four wins only. VP have.